It's your Woody Jack Nimson. Check it out. Because where have we heard this before? A company lying to the people just to get sympathy or at least a nice PR spin. Now, it's done all the time. And I reported today that title claimed the Big Bad Wolf, a.k.a. Big Brother Apple, ran them off the block from streaming champagne poppy Drake because they were blocking artistry, right? I, I, I thought when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? Is Kanye writing these PR statements over a title? Now, I was like, okay, cool, whatever, I guess, I guess Apple's fucking hating, okay, I guess. Now, hours later, I see on BuzzFeed that Drake's DJ, I guess, who apparently, for the purposes of the story, is issuing statements like he's a manager, a uh, future the prince. Last I heard, he was a DJ, but now, uh, apparently, he's like a road manager, okay? Now, he issued an elaborate statement, and uh, I thought it would have been Oliver. Oliver is Drake's manager, but uh, Future the Prince, he issued the statement. But it basically said, listen, don't blame Apple for none of that, okay? It was me, okay? Now, the $20 million that Drake Camp obviously got from um, Apple, if you don't know, that's what his deal with Apple reportedly is worth. Apparently, they don't want to fuck that up, because once Tidal put that negative press out on Apple... Their camp, and I'm talking about Drake's camp, they said, whoa, stop all that shit, don't blame no Apple, it's us, okay? Now, Future the Prince said this, and he said it to BuzzFeed News. He said, point blank, 100%, I made the business decision. Apple does not have the power to stop us from being a part of a live stream. The only people that have the power to do that are Cash Money and Universal, and they are our partners. Now, when he was asked, like, so why the fuck would Tidal lie and put out that Apple blocked it? Now, Future the Prince said this. He said, I don't understand. If you're going to say something about the situation publicly, tell the truth. They saw the opportunity to take the situation and spin it in their favor as a publicity stunt. Now, he was then asked, like, okay, so why wouldn't you guys want Drake to be streamed to millions of fans via Tidal? He said this, he said, we wanted to make sure the stream represented us in the right way, and we didn't have much insight into what they were doing. Aesthetics and quality are important to us, and we didn't have any control over that or time to investigate. We were just there to participate in the benefit. That's pretty much translation for, listen, we ain't trying to piss off Apple. They gave us $20 million. That money is good in every fucking country. We told Title, hell nah, you ain't about to stream us, okay? We ain't about to mess up our check, okay? Now, uh, Title still doubled down. They're still claiming that, nah, listen, Apple did threaten them. Now, the truth is probably, Title's lying, okay? I mean, listen, uh, how many fucking L's could Title catch this year? I like, listen, I like Jay-Z, okay? But I've been told you guys, okay, this is Jay-Z's biggest L since he lost 92 bricks. I'm telling you, man, Title just keeps catching fucking else i don't know what it is but they're catching more else they're catching the same amount of the rate that they're catching else is probably equivalent to what meek mill is doing okay so hey what do you guys think man basically drake's team came out and said no it's not apple it's us we told y'all you will not be streaming drake okay basically said that they put a false statement out just for publicity a publicity stunt where have we heard that before what did jackie dumbass get a comment box make sure you guys weigh in i'm out